it is one year this month we went solar and what have we learned well for starters the original equipment we installed none of it is here the original wiring we started it with none of it is here so let's start with the inverter this is an inverter by rich electric it's a very expensive inverter but it does things that other inverters aren't able to do one if nepa voltage is too low what it's able to do is it would use nepa voltage to charge the battery while continuing to supply 230 volts if you have a low a low generator and there is a surge load on it it will carry that surge load till the generator is able to carry the entire load so that's what this is able to do also very low consumption as you can see it's three kilowatts and it has a 70 amp charger and it produces 230 volts i can change that to lower i could also change this to lower which is pretty impressive the menu is very complex but it's a very 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 powerful inverter i enjoy using it so this is one of the first what the last changes we made another change we made was to our charge controllers we've used generic chinese charge controllers and we've not been able to properly harvest data we turn that blue charge controller i'll show you what we had before and this one here has made a huge difference our one kilowatt in panel we're able to get so much out of it our batteries are fully charged every day um you can see it's currently in bulk mode there's no sun if you look outside there's, there's no sun it's very cloudy and yet it's trying to put something in as you see the panels are making one one amp and the charge controller is putting two into the batteries it's currently in bulk mode our batteries are 26.5 volts now this was the old charge controller we used and it does the job but it just doesn't do it as well as this one thing you guys have seen for a while is this are these trojan batteries we've been using them for a while uh, before that we used the tra your traditional gel batteries and what we found out is when we lose them we cannot recover them on the trojan we can recover them so two days ago these batteries were completely flat um, the electrolyte in there when we use the hydrometer the hydrometer said it was water as you can see the gauge give it a little second to focus okay it says so it was in that red area sorry for the poor focus it was in that red area okay now i checked it a few minutes ago and it's in the higher end it's in let me let me actually just show you so you see what i mean Okay, you see where it is now? It's all thanks to having a wonderful charge controller to charge the battery. So don't skimp on that particular item. Spend money for your charge controllers. And as you see, we have a breaker. We usually hide this somewhere, but because we continue to change the system, it's out. And we have a fuse. And we have an, a DC interrupt. This allows us to service the inverter and disconnect it from the batteries. So that's it in a nutshell. We've had incredible success with this. I'll show you. Someone put pure water in the freezer and you can see it's frozen. See, it's frozen. Okay, so this is frozen pure water in the freezer. So, um, so far so good. Um, we're going to add, go to two kilowatts eventually. Sorry, three kilowatts in panels to match our three kilowatts in inverter. And we'll go to 410 amp hours in batteries instead of the 250 amp hours so we can run an air conditioner. Thank you for watching.